Hey guys and welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to transfer your files from RunKeeper to Strava. So I decided to do this because I recently got into cycling and I wanted to keep all of my activities together on one app as well as I didn't want to have to pay for two different apps. So in order to do this you're going to want to go on to your computer not a mobile device so go to runkeeper.com here and log into your account and then in the top right hand corner go to account settings here and then in the bottom choose export data and now you want to choose the time period in which you're going to export your files from so for me i'm going to use all of them and i started using runkeeper in the beginning of 2017 so I'll go from the beginning of 2017 till today and choose export data. Now here at the bottom, I can choose start export and the download now button should pop up right here. This blue one, I'll choose that, click that, sorry, and then your download should open up. So here you have all of your GPX files. There should be one GPX file for each activity. So right here, if I highlight all of my GPX files, you could see that there's 234 of them. And now if I go over to my RunKeeper account, I can see I have 234 activities. So we're done here. We now go over to Strava, log into your account. And again, in the top right over here, choose upload activity. So on the left now, you'll see file is selected, which is good, but you'll also see that you can only upload 25 files at a time. So I'm going to get out of here for a second, go over to my folder with all of my GPX files, and I'm going to organize it a little bit to make this easier. I'm going to create folders and put 25 GPX files in each folder, and that way I know I can just upload all of these folders, and then I know I won't miss any files. Uh, this is just how I decided to organize it. You can just kind of upload them in whichever orders you want. But I'm going to make 10 folders with 25 files in each to have, well, 234 activities. The last folder will be a little bit less. So you can see I've done that there. And now I'm going to come back to Strava, go back to choose file. And with each of my folders here I made that has 25 activities in each, I'll highlight the 25, upload them, and they will pop up here in a second. They're there, but you'll notice that the activity type, it thinks that I was riding a bike. So I'm going to switch that to run and also change the title here from night ride to night run and go through and fix all of my activities. So once I've gone through all of these, you can see when I refresh my phone here, I have gone from zero activities to 25 activities for running. So I'm going to go back to upload files on Strava, go to my second grouping of 25 files, upload those and repeat until I have uploaded all of your files. So for me, I have now uploaded all of them. These, however, my 5K says it was done in 12 minutes and I know that I can't do that. So when I open up that activity, I can see that the GPS was all messed up and it thinks I ran 16 and a half kilometers and that was most likely a 10K. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that activity and go through all of my activities, deleting any of the mess ups that I have in there so I don't cheat myself. And I'm done. That's all of my activities now on Strava. And I can go ahead and log out of RunKeeper and yeah, uh, that's it. You can like, like, and comment, and subscribe and stuff if you want. Hope I helped you. Bye.